Hello beautiful people, it's Wuraola Olaleko here and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi! But if you're a returning subscriber, hello! <laughs> so in this video, I'll be sharing with you a few things that 2022 taught me, a few things that I learned in 2022 and that really influenced the quality and improved the quality of my life and I'm sharing with you out of the you know the abundance of my love for you so these things i believe would help you as you approach the new year so without much story let's get into the video okay so the first thing that i learned is to find yourself yes there are a plethora of ideas there are so many things flying about there are so many suggestions going about and it is easy to get lost in so much content so i have a note that i would really like to read and um, just go through from there just to you know so there are a plethora of ideas this is what i wrote down while i was working on this video so there are a plethora of ideas and opinions out there which makes it easy to lose yourself and your voice everybody is telling you you can do this you should do this you should try this you shouldn't do this this is how this is this is this philosophy this is this this is that if you have not found yourself it is easy to hold on to this hold on to this hold on to this hold on to this hold on to so many things at the same time and be confused or frustrated or find yourself constantly comparing yourself to other people that you have no business comparing yourself to okay <laughs> so take deliberate steps to find yourself find your voice your purpose where you fit in the puzzle if you fit your strength, your weakness, what God had in mind when he made you, when he sent you here, your gifts, your abilities, your triggers, find yourself. That is like the amazing thing. And the best way to find yourself is who created you, okay? So I would create a video separately on the things that I did or the things that happened to me that enabled me or that improved, that helped me to find myself, okay? So stay tuned for that but really the importance of finding yourself it influences the decisions you make it influences the quality of decisions you make let me go further okay so establish stronghold of truth of who you are so no one can tell you who you are and who you are not start out on that journey of finding me that is like a gift you can give to yourself finding you there is a scripture that i hold dear to my heart it is the glory of god to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out inside you is a gift inside you is so many amazing things that the creator of the universe who created you created inside of you it is his glory to conceal you to conceal that gift to conceal that treasure that is inside of you and it's the honor of you as a king to search it out to begin to unfold to begin to find out the intricacies the flexibilities the complexities that makes you 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 are different from every other person you are created in god's image but you are so different so finding you is a honor to you it's a gift you are giving to yourself okay <laughs> so um it is as important as you know your name it will influence your daily decisions and also important life decisions the places you should and should not be the friends you should and should not have the kind of conversations you should look out for what you need to improve and be a better version of yourself like when you find yourself you would know the kind of friends you should have. You would know the kind of places you should be. You, should, you would know the kind of people you should move around with. You would know the things you need to flourish. You would, need, you would know the things you need to flourish. You would know the things that are draining you and how to avoid them. It would really improve the quality of your life. I keep saying that. You will know what is for you and what is not for you when you are ready for a relationship and the kind of person you would choose to partner with. It is easy to lose yourself in a relationship with someone you love when you don't know yourself. Finding yourself helps you opt out of the rat chase or maze of life and embark on your own journey of life. There is a journey that is set for you. There is a common goal we are all supposed to work together towards, but there is a journey set for you. There is a process that you're supposed to go through. Finding yourself would help you embrace your journey, embrace your process, and be patient with yourself. So you are not running someone else's race. So you are not... You get. 
you will gain clarity on who you should be listening to, learning from, and be mentored by. You will pay attention to what really matters and not futile activities. Really, the journey that should take you 10 years when you find yourself will take you 10 years or less. But if you don't know yourself, if you don't know the things that you should not be involved in, you'll just be spending unnecessary time on a journey that should just take you how many years. So really give yourself that honor of finding yourself in the coming year, okay? The other thing that I really learned, the other thing that um, helped me in 2022 is planning. Yes, planning. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Mm. Words of the wise. These are our ancient truths. Ancient words of the wise. If you have an idea that needs an execution, plan it out. You have a goal for the year. Plan it out. What are the things you need? What are the resources you need? What are the people you need to have on deck, have on board? What are the places you need to be at? What are the kind of organizations you need to work with? What will you need for that project to make, to execute it, to make it a success? That is the importance of planning. The same way you will not just go to an airport and get the next um, plane going to wherever destination, so also should you be intentional about the places you are at. And it also still boils down to finding yourself. When you know yourself and you begin to know what God has created for you, your purpose, you will know the plan that God has for you. You would know the goals you should be setting. And now you need to plan to get there. Mm -hmm. You would need to plan to get there. You would need to pay attention to what you would need, the knowledge you would need to function at that capacity, to function at that um, level or to be able to command the level of results that you're supposed to command or be able to effectively deliver with that responsibility that has been given to you. You would know what you need. You would know how to get what you need. So sometime this year, I was a part of a project where we were reading a book in 10 days and each book had different pages. So what was given to us was if a book is 300 page, we would be given a plan on how to finish that book in, 30, in 10 days, which is 30 pages per day, right? That really helped me set targets per day. So I know that the target for today is 30 pages. It is easier that way to accomplish the goal. It is easier when you plan. It is easier when you write down your plan. Make it plain so that he who reads it can run with it. If your idea is just here and your plan is just here, you tend to forget. Once you have something you can read, something you can refer to, something you can run with, it helps, really. It really helps. Okay, what else did I write here? What is your desired destination? How do you plan to get there? Write it down. Write everything, the daily steps you need to take, the people you need to have on board, how long it is going to take, where it is going to take place, what you would need. Basically, ask and write down all the W questions. When, where, with who, why, how. Plan your day, your year, your month, your minute, hour. Plan everything. This would help eliminate the excuse you have. When I started planning every hour of my day, I realized how much free time I have. All the excuses of, oh, you're busy, you don't... <clears throat> Once you plan, you'll be able to track your progress. You'll be able to track how productive you are, if truly you are productive, and the places you need to, the things you need to fix, the loopholes that you need to adjust. Okay, in subsequent videos, I'll be taking you through a planning process. So I'll, I'll really help you guys with that. But in the meantime, start planning. And an amazing place to start is planning 2023. The year is fast approaching. Write your goals down. Write your expectations and how you desire to get there. Write it in detail, like a blueprint. You don't build a house by just thinking of how a house looks and just start laying blocks and thinking, you know, I'm just going to lay blocks and then build a house or build a skyscraper. Write it down, plan. I believe I've emphasized on this point, okay? What else did I write here? Don't let life, time, and chance happen to you. Take charge, plan fam, plan, okay?
So what else have you learned in 2020? So what is that thing that helped you navigate through this year? What is that one thing that you learned that really helped you in the year 2022? I would love to hear from you in the comment section. So please share with me and the fam in the comment section. Also, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, click on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. And also, also, if you enjoyed this video, you stayed here this far. Like, share, tell someone about my channel, okay? I promise to be more consistent. I say that a lot, but trust me this time, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Bye, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.